so we're here at the Beretta booth for uh, SHOT Show 2012 and we're talking to a representative here. Uh, he's going to basically tell us pretty much what Beretta do in Australia and what they release. Uh, also how the sport's increased over the years with uh, shooting in both sporting and hunting. Yeah, look, I'm George from Breda Australia, and Breda Australia is one of the bigger wholesaling companies here in Australia. Um, you know, there's a lot of companies, Seiko, Ticker, Benelli, Burris, Steiner, um, obviously in the Breda brands as well, and there's a fair few more we distribute through the, our dealer network here in Australia. So we've got dealers in every state in the, in the, uh, in the country, and um, we go from there around, the, around Australia, so it's good. Wow. And have you seen an improvement in sales over the last couple of years, with, yeah. with the dollar being different now? And, and uh, look, the dollar's different to us because we're a lot of based European companies, but uh, oh, right. so we work on Euros instead of US dollars yeah. all the time. But in saying that, the increase has been very good. Uh, my particular area, I work in Queensland, there's been a good growth there for the last three years straight and uh, seems to be continuing. The target sports and the clay target side of it is increasing, uh, the hunting side of it is increasing, and it's the perception of, of the hunting market is actually becoming more into the households. And yeah. people are talking about it, it's coming from out of the closet, out of the open, which is really good. Yeah. There's a massive number of new license holders in Queensland every year at the moment, which is really making the sport jump. The dealers are going well, and it's a really positive atmosphere out there at the moment. It's really good. Oh, that's great. All right, now we're going to look at some of the new products that might be coming in for 2012 and 2013, and we'll go through some of the, um, the, other, ran the other ranges you guys um, stock. Okay, we're here with the new breaders that have just come out in Australia and we're going to start with the DT11 which has caused a lot of stir and we've had some incredible sales and the R&D that's gone into this particular gun is uh, quite incredible. Probably the two major features between the DT11 and the DT10 is the action. One is about 3mm wider and there's a lot more weight coming back into the action so the balance when you're using a competition firearm, this firearm's worth around about $10,000 so it's an expensive firearm and all the good competitors like the Olympians are all moving towards that and this gun will be shot a lot um, in London this year and it, only being out in the last six months to get athletes to change across, they've been using something for four years, to get them change across in the last six months to compete at the Olympics is a pretty big call. That's why it's causing a lot of stir out there. The other major feature about the DT11 is the Steelium Pro barrels. Now the barrels where you normally have a barrel where you'd have your forcing, you have your chamber, then your forcing cones will be on an angle, and then you've got your ball that goes all the way down the end of your choke. The DT11 have worked out and Breda have worked out a system where it's a full length forcing cone so to speak. So you've still got your chamber where your ammo goes in. Where your forcing cone will start, it's a constant incline all the way down to 100 mil short of the choke. Now that's decreasing huge amounts of recoil and muzzle flip and that's why it's becoming so popular and it's causing a big stir. At the moment we've got the trap version out and the sporter version out on the market with the X-Trap to be released here by the end of the year, and that's going to be a big seller as well. The X-Trap will actually have an adjustable rib with obviously an adjustable stock, and that'll be great. We've seen the prototypes for it, and as I said, we'll have it by the end of the year, which is going to be great. The next one down the line, which is only being released here, it's been rushed across for this show, is the SV-10 Prevail. We've got it both in the trap, and we've got it both in the X-Trap, or the hybrid version. Now, these guns are going to be very popular, particularly this hybrid version. They're going to retail around about $3,500 and fills a big hole for us in the Breda product with that high rib gun in that price range. And they're a great little product. They've got the new bore and the new choking system in them and they're going to be very popular as well. Here we have our entry lever Breda in the shotgun range. This is the Silver Pigeon 1 in the trap and the sporter. The sporter's been out for a little while now, probably 12 months, but the trap has only just been released and a special made for Australia. It's got uh, DTL Special Edition AUS in the barrel here. It's actually got, for a trap gun, it's got your trap forend, your trap stock. Your barrels are significantly heavier than the sporter for your trap version. It's also got barrel selectors here, which is a little bit of an add-on for a trap gun we normally don't get, but also it's choked, both barrels. So for the beginner that's starting with it, wants to go and shoot a bit of down the line, but wants to try a bit of skeet, a bit of sporting, it's the perfect rifle. Their recommended retail is $24.90, so they're under that about a $2,500 mark, and that is a great value for money gun. The barrels in them are basically the same as the 682, which is a $5,000 gun. Um, you get a lot of features for a very small price on that gun, and they're going to be big sellers for us, and they already are. And if it's anything to do with the sales we've had with the Sporter, which is already out, this is going to be an absolute cracker and fly off the shelf. So we're very excited about that product there. Great.
Seiko rack, or one of the Seiko racks we've got here at the 2012 SHOT Show. I'm just going to show you some of the new products we've got here again, but Seiko have been releasing the Bear series. Now, we're going to start, actually started with the Kodiak a few years ago. It was a great little seller and your 375s and your big, big game calibers. But what they've done, they've changed things around a little bit now. They've actually released the Brown Bear, which as you can see, which is in your full varmint barrel with your brown laminated stock. But also then they've brought out the brown, the Black Bear, which is this has just been released in Australia about three months and is really selling well. As you can see, it's a synthetic stock with a varmint fluted barrel. Now, one of the big features is actually the barrel band on it. So when you actually put it on the sling, it actually sits a lot lower on your shoulder. So your barrel's only just above your head height. So when you're hunting in the bush, deer stalking, sambar hunting, or whatever you want to do, you haven't got a big barrel poking out the top of your head, and it's very portable. In and out of vehicles, great little rifle. And the accuracy we've been getting out of these 21 and a quarter inch barrels has been amazing, and really starting to people are starting to think differently about what barrel lengths they should be using on rifles because it's really starting to turn it inside out. Um, we're just about to receive down here on the bottom of the four bear series is the grizzly bear. Hence a lot of our marketing on this show with the big bear in the front. The grizzly is the same action as your black bear which so it's your varmint fluted blued barrel and also it comes in a Seiko classic stock. Now it is a, this is a sexy little gun. This thing will put a horn on a jellyfish. All the boys at work all want to buy it. So you know when there's a good rifle come in, the guys that distribute them all want to buy them personally, you know it's a good thing. So it's a great little stock. I'm actually thinking of getting one in 306 myself for deer hunting. Um, I can't wait till October until they hit the, hit the shores. We've got this specially over for this weekend to show people. That should be really good. The other thing that Seiko are doing for the Australian market is the uh, varmint stainless wood. Now this is actually going to be, this is one we've made up for this show especially as well. They're going to be about October release again and this is uh, showing Seiko is making this just for the Australian market which is we're pretty proud of because it's showing that uh, Seiko is seeing Australia as a dominant force in the market and we're big enough and we're old enough now as a, as a hunting nation to actually uh, have rifles made up for ourselves for such a big company. So we're really proud of that and this will be a great little seller when it comes in October as well. So guys, that's the new Seiko range for 2012. We're pretty excited about it. Um, and they're gonna be great for us and good for the customers and the hunters. Okay, we're here with the ticker range now. We'll stick on all our new products we've got because a lot of the guys have already seen what we've already in the ticker range. And uh, Tika is a very, very popular rifle. Value for money, can't be matched on the market. Out of the box accuracy is what it's renowned for. Um, I'll just show you quickly the Forest, which is the new one, which is on its way in. You can see, can't really probably see it from the camera, but you can see the hog's back stock on it. So it's got a nice European stock with a pistol grip on it. It's going to be a classically great, nice little hunting rifle. Um, the biggest advancements are these two little babies here. So you've got your stainless fluted, so it's actually a sporter barrel that's fluted. So this is going to be a great deer hunting rifle, great carrying rifle and light. So it, they come both in the blued and the, and the stainless and both walnut stocks at this stage. Um, and they're the two new releases for 2012-13 in the ticker range and are going to be great little rifles for the hunting market as in the lightweight carrying. So we've been looking forward to these guys coming in as well. So I think they'll be a good little feature to the Tika range. As well. Everyone knows how good Tika is already. Um, they're going to add to the range and it's going to be really good for, the, for everyone out there.